There's so many of them. Welcome back to another video from Slide Cow. My name is Yoyo, and together we're going to make your slides amazing. This week's video is going to focus on the first impression of your PowerPoint presentations or your PowerPoint decks. You guessed it, it's the front cover. Now, to all you loyal SlideCow followers, you'll know that this topic was actually covered in the first video SlideCow has ever done. And if you want to watch that video, click on the info button on the top right. That video was actually quite popular. People really like front covers. What can I say? So this is another front cover video. It's cool, it's sleek, and it's pretty minimalist. Above all that, it's really, really easy to do. So let's get right into this one. Step one, make the shape. All right, are you guys ready for the hardest step of them all? By the way, I was just kidding. Go to insert, go to shapes, and click on the parallelogram right here. Click anywhere you'd like on the slide and just follow these dimensions that I have listed over here. Whether you're using inches or centimeters, just follow it. Inches, you're going 4.5 in height times 3.5 in width. Centimeters, you're going 11.43 in height times 8.89 in width. So have your shape selected, go to format and just change it to whatever you'd like. So I'm using inches, so I'm gonna set this to 4.5 and I'm gonna set this to 3.5 and I'm gonna move the shape all the way here. You're going to see that this shape right here is pretty blocky. Not to worry, ladies and gentlemen. Click on the yellow circle over here and just move it to the right. So you get something that looks like this. That looks fine, perfect. Just gonna delete this and move this to the middle. With your shade selected, you wanna choose a color that you really, really, really like. Don't worry, you can always change it later, but for right now, just to help us distinguish it down the line, just click on any color you'd like. I'm just gonna select the orange, and I'm gonna remove the outline. The key step here is to click on Shape Fill, go to More Fill Colors, and change the transparency to 75%. Don't forget that that's really important to do. And that is the first step done. Step two make the pattern. Okay, so let's assume that you have nothing else on your slide except for the shape that you made in step one. And we're going to move this shape all the way to the left. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna make an exact copy of that shape. You're gonna click on the shape and you're gonna click on Control Shift and move it all the way to the right. With this copied shape selected, you're gonna go to Home, you're going to go to Arrange, you're gonna go to Rotate, and you're gonna click on Flip Horizontal. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that it lines up almost perfectly. Not perfectly perfectly, don't waste too much time on it, but you want to make sure that it overlaps quite vividly. Something like this. You, don't want, you want to make sure that the smaller parts of the shape, like over here for example, um, aren't left alone. So what you want to do is you just want to move that over here. Yeah, that looks fine. You want to make sure that it overlaps or forms almost like a perfect triangle, right? Almost a perfect triangle. Um, when you're happy with this segment, you just highlight them both and press on Control G and you want to move it to the right like this. Perfect. Okay. And then you want to do it again. Just like that. And you want to do it one more time just to ensure that we are good to go. And the reason why we did it one more time is so we can highlight everything, press on Control G, move this to the middle and rotate it, right? If we didn't add that extra segment, we wouldn't be able to cover everything, okay? What you see is what you get on PowerPoint. Anything in the white canvas is what you're gonna see. The gray canvas, you're not gonna see anything. So what you see is what you get. Sorry, the gray area, not the gray canvas. Anyway, when you're happy with the rotation that you want, remember it could be anything. It could be like this, it could be like this, it could be like this, whatever. But I'm just gonna go like this for now, just to show you. When you're happy with the area that you want, it's time to color. You could be happy with just one color. Remember, it could just be one color. But I'm gonna go with two colors. So I'm going to click on every other shape in this whole diagram. Let's just make sure that you ungroup everything first. Yep, that's fine. And I'm going to highlight them by pressing on Control and clicking them. Going to Format, going to Shape Fill, and then clicking on this light blue option here. Perfect. Now we have our background and that's step two done. Step three, make the text block. All right, this one's really easy. Go to insert, go to text box and click on any blank area of the slide. Type in your front cover title. I'm literally just gonna type mine as front cover title. 
in caps, like so. And I'm gonna change the font size to 50. Now, what you want to do is you wanna pick the perfect font choice. What I would recommend personally is to pick a serif font. What is the difference between a serif and a sans serif font? This font right here, which is Calibri, is a sans serif font because it doesn't have any serifs or quote unquote strokes at the end of each letter. Whereas here, we have these little strokes. As you can see, you have a stroke at the T, you have a stroke at the N. The Calibri font doesn't have it, but the Times New Roman font here does have it. So we're going to be picking a serif font, okay? For the front cover only. Do not use a serif font in your deck or in your presentation. Please don't do that. Just don't do that. We're only using it for design purposes. That's it, all right? So I'm gonna change this to Times New Roman. I'm gonna make it bold and I'm gonna keep the letters tightly aligned within each other. And to do that, I'm gonna be clicking over here in character spacing and clicking on very tight like this. So with the title made, it's time for our name. What we're going to do is we're gonna click on the title we just made and press on control shift and drag it down like this to make an extra copy. We're now going to change the content to John Smith. Now notice I didn't capitalize every single letter here. Just keep that in mind, okay? Don't make it bold and change the size to 40. Cool, all right. Highlight them both and click on arrange, align, and then align center. Then press Control G to group them up. Again, go to arrange, align, align center, and then arrange, align, align middle. And that will bring it perfectly into the middle. My God, it was a bit off here. There we go, perfect. Okay, when it's in the center, degroup it by pressing Control Shift then G. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to insert, we're gonna to go to shapes, and we're gonna click on this line thing right here. We're going to hold shift and move our line all the way to the right. It doesn't have to cover everything. Make something similar to this. Go to format, go to shape outline and change the color to black. Then go to shape outline again, click on weight and click on six points. Then after that, just click on the title, click on the line and click on the name. Go to Home, Arrange, Align, and then click on Distribute Vertically. And that will make sure that everything is equally spaced and perfectly aligned. One more step to go. We have to go to Insert, Shapes, and then click on this rectangle right here. Draw it out like this. Make the shape outline black. And make the weight six points like we did before. Then go to Shape Fill and make it white. Then click on shape fill again and click on more fill colors and change the transparency to 85%, okay, 85. Then click on send backward once, twice, three times. The reason why we did this is so that we can separate the text from the design and it's easier for us to read the information rather than creating a whole mess of design and text everywhere. When you're happy with everything, just be sure that you're clicking on the rectangle that we just made and make it smaller according to whatever needs that you want. So I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna make it smaller from both sides by holding shift and moving it to the left like that. And I think that that looks really, really classy and really cool. Let's check it out by going full screen. Nice, I like that a lot and I think that you guys like it a lot as well. As always, it is phenomenal teaching every single one of you. We're approaching the 2K mark soon on YouTube, so please help out with that. On another note, please do like our Facebook page and please check out the SlideCow website. A lot of effort was made making these just for you, tailor-made specifically just for you to help you guys find the content that you want because there isn't a single source on the internet that can help you like Slack Cow does. As always, please do like, do comment, do share, and do subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.